Nicole, you are here today to confirm that we did execute search warrants at both of those locations so that we could hopefully um, make sure that the rumor mill didn't get rampant in regards to the activities that have occurred in this particular case today. There are no arrests that are being made. We have merely, as part of the investigation uh, into this case, into the death of Hawaii Robinson, executed two search warrants, which is standard procedure in any investigation. And so I wanted to make sure you all understood that those are the two locations that we executed the search warrants on, and we do not anticipate any other uh, public activity going on in this case today. Some of the two locations again? Uh, as far as the physical address of those locations, one was on uh, Mike can you help me out here? Stovall Street. Street and Pritchard, and the other was on Westchester. Westchester and Sims. You said this is standard. Is it standard for this to be two weeks after the crime, or why the delay in, in doing the search if it's standard? Well, we have to go through um, the process of getting a court order to execute a search warrant, and um, that's what we've done in this case, and it is oftentimes standard to wait uh, until you get information that is necessary to put in the affidavit uh, and get a court order. The fact that this focus is on the family, should that be something that calms the community and that this appears not to be a, a random type crime, or have you not ruled out that this is, could have been a random situation? Again, I really am not going to comment on any of the uh, specifics of the investigation. This is very much an ongoing investigation um, being worked daily by the members of the FBI, the ABI, my office, and the Pritchard Police Department. Um, and this is just one of the things that we are doing as part of our investigation. Was there anybody home at either residence? Again, that's really all I'm going to comment on today um, in regards to this. The father owns the residence on Stovall Street. The family owns the residence. But you can't comment as to whether anybody was home? No. Sorry, I didn't know if you were answering her question. So is the father a suspect or a person of interest? Again, I'm not going to make any other comments. I just wanted to make sure you got information from my office. Uh, as I said earlier in the week, it is important that the community um, learns information from the official uh, sources in this case, which is either my office or the FBI, and not through the rumor mill by way of social media. And we wanted to bring you all here together today um, to tell you that, that information will be given to you um, as it unfolds, and it will be, it, the public needs to listen to that information as it comes from the district attorney's office and the FBI, and not by way of rumors through social media or other online activities. I know you don't want to answer more specifics, but real quick, there are people who are concerned that there may be a child predator out there. Is there, can you Again, appease their fears? it's not proper for me to make any comment on that, and I'm late for court in a capital murder hearing. So was thank y'all all very much for being here. Yesterday? Was there thank you, Ashley Rich. And again, that was district.